What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we are checking out a pretty big and beautiful box right here as you can see. Uh, this was sent to me by Rokid and a huge shout out to Rokid for sponsoring this video. Now this box contains, well it contains a few things, but one of the things that it contains is something that I personally believe is going to make a huge impact or change altogether mobile gaming and multimedia on the go type of situations. Hell, it could even change PC gaming in my opinion in a lot of ways. So we are going to take a look at this big huge box right here. I gotta get everything out of the box and, and I'll show you what this is all about because this is pretty cool. All right, so some of the stuff you see here on the table in front of me is the, the stuff that this package was comprised of. But, but one thing I encountered along the way, which was an absolute surprise to me, I don't know how to introduce this because it's weird because it's me. They made me into a freaking statue. <laughs> like what? This was pretty incredible when I saw it. I was like, wow, really? It, this is, it's absolutely incredible. It's totally irrelevant to what we're taking a look at, but I had to show you that because I thought it was really cool of them. Anyway, so right here, we do have a smartphone um, that I'm going to use uh, to link up with the device here. And if we open this up, let's just go ahead and set this box off to the side. If we open this main box up, you can see this is the Rokid Air and we have the starry gray version. Now opening this box right here, we have a little pouch and we can kind of set everything else off to the side. And this is the main point of discussion today. Now this is going to look a little different to you. And to be quite honest, it looks very different to me because I've never seen something quite like this before. So this is a pair of AR glasses that has some pretty killer specs going on with it. And as you can see, the design is, is actually pretty sleek and slim. Um, not much is, is really happening here in terms of like flash or anything like that. It's really straightforward and to the point. You put these on and you can enter a kind of a different immersive world of multimedia and gaming and things like that. Now, uh, we're gonna take a look at the hardware here real quick first, just so you can get an idea of that. Up here, we do have two little focus wheels. That's because there are screens on these lenses right here. Uh, you can't see them because they're tucked away in the bottom and then they project down towards your eyes, um, but there are tiny little screens there. So like I said, these displays here, they're each 1080p displays. And when you put this on, it gives you basically the equivalent of a 120 inch display in front of you, which uh, I'm gonna show you how that looks in a second here, but I just have to describe all these things for you because it's pretty cool. Now, obviously these are going to be powered in some way and they're powered by USB type C right here. Um, there's a little port right there on the end of the frame, which is a pretty nice way to include that. And then we do have a little button right here as well. Uh, inside of here, we do have a serial number and uh, we do have a nice little carrying case. Now the USB type C cable it comes with is actually pretty cool because this thing has an L shape on the end, which makes a lot of sense because when you plug this in and you put it on your face, it's nice to have that cable running straight down your ear. Now I don't, <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the little display right here and I straight look like I'm from the future right now. So they're actually really comfortable though. They're really lightweight. Like they don't really weigh any more than I don't know, like a pair of Ray-Bans or something with you know some nice hefty materials. This is kind of how everything is set up. Now this little guy right here is also um, another thing that they sent over with me. This will be something that is available additionally. It is an adapter to make it work with other devices uh, such as iPhone. Essentially, this is really easy. You just plug this in via USB Type-C on the bottom and it powers the glasses and it turns on the display. All we have to do is launch the uh, Rokid Air app and I'm gonna be transformed into this freaking awesome crazy universe. Uh, I can already see the logo popping up right here. It's like pretty, pretty big in front of me. All right, so now that I have these things on and fired up, uh, essentially you can use the phone here as a controller. Now there are little speakers, HD speakers built in that 
are actually surprisingly good. I, I was very impressed by it. And I'm gonna play them right now. I'm gonna go into the user guide actually. Now, I don't know if you can hear those speakers, but they're very, very quiet. Um, but they're, they're very quiet uh, from an ambient standpoint. Like I can hear them perfectly right by my head. But uh, that being said, you use your phone as a controller to navigate through this. So we have a cursor here that we can navigate around, uh, which is pretty nice. And you can alternatively use something like an Xbox controller here, and you can connect it via Bluetooth. And I can go ahead and turn this on. I already have this one paired up uh, with the phone actually, but once I have it connected here, I can actually use uh, the Xbox controller here to select from different icons and stuff like that. So we went into the user guide, um, they have an AR store actually, but um, it's not open just yet. And uh, I'm excited to show you a lot more about this in the future, but we do have a cinema mode here, which we can go into and browse things such as YouTube and Netflix, Hulu, Twitch, etc. Now the cool thing here is, is that this supports uh, 180 video, 360 video, it supports 360 degree environments. And it's crazy because I can see like everything in front of me right now, but I can also see what's happening I mean, it's augmented reality, essentially. So that's what kind of makes this whole thing interesting. Now, along with that, we do have like head control and voice control with this. Now, if I go into this little, uh, there is an app here called Magic AR. This gives me kind of a full experience of like just being able to look around an environment. So I can actually turn my head and I'm like underwater in a fish tank, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so I get like that kind of experience. You can look up and down. So that's uh, just kind of a, a demo of what, you know, this kind of technology can offer. But along with that, we do have games as well. And so like I said, um, there are some games that will support an Xbox controller. And then there are other games where I'm just gonna use the phone as a controller here. So we do have a game where I can uh, fly around inside of an environment here. Let's go ahead and uh, navigate down to that. So with this game here, I am actually using the phone uh, to control and fly through uh, this environment here. So I can just <laughs> move my phone around and I'm actually flying through kind of a, a meteor environment. What are these things called? It's, it's pretty cool though because it's quite immersive and I have music playing in my ears. Imagine just sitting on an airplane, like playing a game or watching a movie like this completely in privacy. Like I think something like that is really cool. And the, the whole point of this is to showcase what this is going to do uh, to change like mobile gaming. Like I said, it could even change PC gaming. Imagine having something like this, being in a world in like a PC game, a first person shooter, and being able to look around behind you and, and as you hear things pass by on different sides, being able to check your surroundings and interact with it with like another controller in your hand or like, a, like an Xbox controller, like I was telling you about. A couple of other notable things that we have here, we do have an internet browser. So we have access to private browsing on this device right here, which doesn't actually save your history or anything, which is nice if you wanna, uh, well, I don't know what you're gonna do on the internet, but <laughs> uh, we, there's a user guide here as well. We do have a file explorer, which we can go in here and look at images or videos that we have loaded up or saved on this device. I mean, the interface here is cool. Like, I mean, it kind of just, is simple and it does what it's supposed to do. And so as I mentioned, uh, their app store is set to launch later this year. And uh, this is, uh, for what you're getting here, this I believe is one of the least expensive options that you can buy right now that's available or that's going to be available on the market, I should say. This supports 3D content, it supports 360 degrees, and I just, I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this and I wouldn't show you guys something like this if I didn't genuinely think that it was cool. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of awesome. Like, <laughs> I just can't say enough good things about this whole setup right here. It's just cool. Like, I can't help but get excited over cool stuff that I put on my face that takes me into cool, better environments than I'm in in the real world. I, I just think it's cool, but I don't know. I wanna know what you think about the Rokid Air down in the comments section below. A huge shout out to Rokid for sending these out to me and sponsoring this video because honestly, this wasn't even on my radar. And when they brought it up to me, I was like, 
That's, that's kind of interesting. I want to check that out. So huge shout out to them. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I really appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.